Yuma is a small town. We are in the Sonora Desert. Yuma is all about agriculture. I always like to say this, that when you get to Yuma, it's like an oasis in the desert. I've been in Yuma for 48 years. I started with one route 22 years ago, and now I have 14 routes and 18 drivers. We're running a seven-day operation. This camera is so that our drivers, through their monitor inside, be able to see anything on their blind side. So this is the camera? Right. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Surprise. Welcome to the new safety technology. <laughs> So each one of these color code vehicles cool. represents one of our vehicles and it tells us exactly where they're going, their speed. So you can click this live video and see live video of the truck? Yes, we can. My routes are covering border towns. We service a mall that's about 25 feet from the U.S.-Mexico border. And it's right on the fence. This is the border, this side of the fence, U.S. soil. The other side of the fence, you're in Mexico. When the pandemic hit, they shut down the border. Calexico's beginning to start getting back to its normal routine. We just can't wait to see Calexico go back 100% to normal. The biggest thing we have here in the winter time is winter visitors that come from up north. Many, many RV parks down here in the winter time. You can't even get a space in the RV parks. We deliver packages to the RV. Each one has a space number, so we actually deliver to their space number. We want to go that extra mile for our customer, so we take it straight to their RV. I learned how to play an instrument when I was eight, nine years old. These are my brothers. There's six of us. That's me. We had the privilege to tour back in the early 90s. Classic rock royalty right here. <laughs> Music is near and dear to my heart all the time. It's just a really nice hobby that I really enjoy, but uh, in my mind, I always want to be a businessman, so I'm living my dream. <laughs>